put you all wondering. Who is this strange man talking to you? Why is he holding a pig a torch? Does he realize that even though his jacket's top button is set up, his body is dismally undone? To answer these questions, I will use the wonders of technology. Is 18. This question has played the greatest minds for the last century. Suitable explanations they have come up with are the cardinal number of sum of 17 and 1, the number following 17, yet preceding 19. A 2002 album released by electronic artist Moby. It sees Moby following a similar style to his previous album Play, that of sampling Negro spirituals and adding a mellow dance beat over the top. So now we know what we are dealing with. Now we must delve into the why. Some postulate that the increase in stapler sales in the Northern Hemisphere are to blame. While others think the main reason is the decrease of carrier pigeons used in transporting goods across Europe. What a touch! I hear you say, This is complete rubbish, I can't believe I'm listening to this. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, I can, I can see your point, I can kinda see where you're coming from. But I was, I was up. Right, I was up half the night last night researching all of this. So maybe you should maybe show some respect to me, you know, I mean, you're just coming here, you're just shooting down all my ideas, at least I'm bringing ideas to the table. You're not bringing any ideas to the table. I, I just think it's quite rude, you know, you should be more constructive with your criticism, not just, not just, just shut down everything I say. It's, it's just wrong, you know? In, in fact, in fact, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. But nevertheless, it stands to reason that reasonably, 18 was the best choice for reasons unknown. So let us talk about 18. Unbeknownst to most, and be to even less, 18 is the root of many psychological problems. That was the cue. Hello. Now, I want you to think of me more as a friend than a person who is going to judge you, so please tell me, tell me about these dreams you've been having. Well I, well, I guess the dreams first started when around when I turned 18. 18. Well, anyway, um. There I was standing in front of a vine. I, I, took, I took some grapes and I crushed them into wine. I gave them. So sorry, sorry. Can I just um? I'm just gonna jump right in there. Uh, when did when did you say you started having these dreams again? I I, I told you. One. No 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 no. The, the, the date the date would be good. Oh, a, a couple of months ago. Around March, you, you think March? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess around, I guess around March. Early March? I, I wouldn't know, uh, I can't really remember. So it's, it's not entirely out of the question that you started having these dreams on the 18th of March. I guess it's not entirely out of the question that they could have started on the 18th? 18. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, let's do some picture association now, shall we? Um, I'm just gonna hold up some pictures and you'll say the first thing that comes to your head, alright? What's that there? Teenagers? Maybe 
there's eight of them, eighteen. I see, I see, and, and the, the second picture. Um, what's that, eight tons, maybe? Yeah, eight Ooh, tons. okay, okay. And the third picture. Oh, what's that, there's uh, ten, eight groups of ten, okay. maybe eight tens? Yeah, eight tens, yeah. Okay, and, and lastly, the last picture. Oh, well, that's 18. I mean, 81! Damn it! Ugh! So, after that insightful interview, we now know all there is to know about this mystical number, 18. So, always remember, when cornered in a dark alley by a mugger who was threatening to harm you, or your paraplegic grandfather who had both his legs blown off in the Second War, always think of the number 18. You might get lucky. The mother, who is secretly a mind reader, might be a bit put off by your fixation of this number and run away, leaving you to fend for your lives against the giant rats. But alas, this brings our educational film to a close. And always remember, as the bilingual Mexican once said, Selamat ulang tahun. Oh my god.